Government and tourism officials anticipate an increase of over 300% in visitor arrivals this year once figures return to the pre-COVID-19 status. Ms. Petra Roach, CEO of the Grenada Tourism Authority, says this will be possible with the implementation of robust marketing campaigns and discounted travel. This year, GTA and the Ministry of Tourism look forward to the commencement of flight services from Boston in November and a resumption of flights from Canada later in 2022. From January to December, tourism officials recorded over 42,000 long-stay visitors, over 4,000 yacht visitors, and 175,000 cruise passengers. 25,000 cruise passengers visited during November and December. We are anticipating that we will be very close back to 2019 numbers where we have 142,922 long stay visitors, 15,500 yachties and 175,000 cruise passengers approximately. So if you look at what that increase is over 2021, we're looking to an increase of about 365%. So that means that that's a lot of hard work that we've got to put into place. We're looking very favourable about having a start of a new service from Boston in November 2022. And then out of the UK, we've got both British Airways and Virgin continuing with their twice weekly service. And the challenge that we have at the minute is that we still have to fly over another destination. So with British Airways, we're flying over Antigua and then coming into Grenada, and that's on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And then with Virgin, we're actually flying over Barbados, and that is on Mondays and Fridays. Ms. Roach explained that the recovery of travel and aviation depends on governments and stakeholders' continuous assessment of the situation so that the necessary adjustments can be made to provide ease and safety during travel. She highlighted some of the campaigns and marketing measures that will be used to boost visitor arrivals this year. Our priorities, the values for the brand, continue to be centred around sustainability, conservation, travel with a purpose, and the niches where we see the biggest growth potential would be MICE, which is meetings and incentives, health and wellness, romance, culinary, soft adventure, diving, and nautical. We have a really unique proposition. At the end of the day, we are one unique destination, but three islands to explore. And therefore, that's going to be a big thrust for us with the summer campaign, where we're looking to offer families who are traveling to um, Grenada the opportunity to get discounted travel to Caraco or Petit Martinique with discounted um, Osprey tickets. And we're also looking to run some local summer camps with the PFA and the PCA, so the Professional Football Association and the Professional Cricket Association. And then again, we continue to redefine what our product looks like on the ground, because at the end of the day, people are looking for those cultural tourism experiences where they can eat locally, where they can use local tour guides, where they are putting money back into the local economy. There is that conscious shift to buying local. local.